These are eight rare seduction tactics, surprisingly simple, shockingly effective, and almost no one knows about them. But here's the thing. Once you do, everything changes. Let's dive right in. The Five Promises Protocol, a tactic rooted in the psychology of consistency and commitment with also future projection. These two principles, they're seduction gold. This move isn't just about getting her attention, it's about making her feel that rush, the butterflies in her stomach, the kind that makes her talk about you to her friends like you're some kind of secret treasure. And the best part? It's versatile. Use it on a date or even in a cold approach and it'll still work magic because it builds trust, comfort, and compliance. Here's how you pull it off. When the vibe's locked in, you're connecting and you wanna amplify her interest. This is your power play. You tell her, I am going to make you five promises right here, right now. Make each one tied to a romantic activity and escalate, building more investment with each one. These are some examples to give you an idea. It does not have to be exactly these promises. Make them suit you. Start simple. The first promise, I'm going to get you the best smoothie you've ever tasted right now. Something low risk, easy, but it opens the door. Second promise, Tonight, I'll take you to the best Chinese restaurant in town. Now you're pushing her curiosity, getting her to imagine what's next. Third, this week I'm taking you ice skating. You're layering the experiences, adding a touch of adventure. Fourth, next month I'll take you to the Aquarium Museum. And finally, you drop the big one, the fifth promise. Within six months, we'll be in Europe. Now while you're telling her this, her mind is already playing out these moments, imagining the two of you together. Her attraction to you builds, driven by the power of future projection. Her subconscious, it's already triggering the emotions she'd feel if these things were happening right now. That's the magic. Then comes the principle of consistency and commitment. Every time you deliver on one of those promises, it amplifies those feelings. If you fulfill the first two promises in one night, you've already got her thinking about what's next. And by that point, you're either on the fast track to making her fall for you, or you're going to spend a night together that neither of you will forget. Let's talk about speeding things up and cutting down the time to get to the good stuff. This tactic, it's the classic hand comparison, but with a twist that turns a simple move into a power play. The hand comparison isn't just about breaking the touch barrier. Sure, it's skin to skin, subtle but effective, all good stuff, but there is more to it. The guy who holds her hand, that's usually the guy she's intimate with, the romantic one. So you're planting the idea of closeness from the jump. Initiate it by saying something like, how big are your hands? While holding yours out, or if you're feeling bold, just take her hand and place it on yours. The beauty of this move, it's fast, doesn't demand a lot of compliance and comes off as playful and innocent. But here's the twist. When your hands are touching, add a hint of dominance by pressing lightly with your fingertips. Your hand will also most likely be bigger this gives her a little taste of that masculine energy. Now, watch her response closely. Three things can happen. She'll push back, let it slide, or pull away. If she pushes back, game on. That's your green light, and it means she wants to play. From here, you ramp up the escalation, both physically and emotionally. If she just lets it happen, that's also a win. It means she's comfortable with you taking the lead, and she's trusting you to guide the interaction. But if she pulls away, don't panic. It's only game over if she actually walks away. If she's still there, it just means you haven't earned enough compliance yet. You need to rebuild, smooth things out, and create more comfort. Here's a quick story to prove the point. About three weeks ago, I spotted a girl eyeing me from across the street, so I casually put my hand out, palm open, and she ran over to press her hand against mine. I went for the fingertip move, and she pulled away saying, Ew. Now did I get rattled? Did I feel rejected? Heck no. I kept my frame strong, playfully teased her about it, and five minutes later, I told her to give me her hand again. This time, I locked fingers, pulled her closer, and asked, How's it feel now? And she responded, Actually, it feels kind of nice, and you're cute. The point is, if you keep your composure and hold your frame, you'll guide her right where you want her. Here's the guaranteed kiss method, one of the most powerful, foolproof ways to go for the kiss without risking rejection. First, you've got to be close. If the chemistry is there and you're already naturally close during the conversation, perfect. But if you need to bridge that gap, here's the move. Ask her something simple like, what color are your eyes? And lean in as you say it. Once you're in her space, look her in the left eye, then the right eye, then down at her mouth. 
before bringing your gaze back to her eyes. The moment feels electric, charged with tension. If you're feeling confident, you can add a little flair, a subtle lip lick or bite, but only if you know you can pull it off smoothly. Done wrong, it comes off awkward. Done right, it's pure fire. Here's the beauty of this method. If she doesn't pull away, she's giving you the green light. She knows what's about to happen and by staying there, she's waiting for you to kiss her. It's all non-verbal, a deeper form of communication. But if she pulls back, no harm done. You weren't technically going for the kiss, so there's no rejection and no awkward moment. She doesn't even know for sure if you were about to kiss her. You protect yourself while building her anticipation because when she's ready, she'll stay close, almost begging for you to make the move. That's when you know it's time. This next one is one of my favorites. It's a go-to for day game, but it works wonders in night game too. It's all about non-verbal seduction. Here's how it goes. You spot a stunning woman. If she locks eyes with you, that's your cue. You smile. If she smiles back, give her a smooth upward head nod while raising your eyebrows ever so slightly. Keep it controlled and smooth. You're not overdoing it. It's a subtle, confident signal. If she nods and raises her eyebrows back, then you've just hit the bullseye. See, what's happening here is more than what meets the eye. When your eyes lock, it's like you're both silently agreeing, open for communication. Your smile says, I like what I see. And when she smiles back, it's her way of saying, I like what I see too. But the head nod and eyebrow raise, that's where it gets deeper. You're telling her, I find you attractive, can I flirt with you? And if she mirrors it, that's her saying, I find you attractive too, let's flirt. At this point, you're not just two strangers. You've laid down the foundation for something more. Now, when you approach her, it's like you've already built a bridge of mutual interest. The approach becomes effortless because the vibe is set. You both know this isn't just some random interaction. It's charged with chemistry, with the unspoken promise of something more. By establishing this connection before you even say a word, you guarantee that the approach goes smoother and with a whole lot more potential. The Aladdin 2.0, a high-risk, high-reward move that, when it works, leaves you as the most interesting, charming man she's ever met. Here's the play. You walk up to her and extend your hand, just like Aladdin does to Jasmine. You're not saying a word, just holding out your hand. If she doesn't take it right away, here's the line. Do you trust me? Whether she takes your hand or not, you still ask, do you trust me? Wait for her response. Ideally, she says yes before you move forward. But regardless, this is where things get interesting. Once she gives you her hand, you pull her close. Look her deep in the eyes and let the tension simmer. If you want to up the stakes even further, you can slip in the guaranteed kissing method we talked about earlier. Then with calm confidence you say, kiss me. Don't rush it. Let the tension grow. Watch her reaction. And then when the moment's right, go for the kiss. This move isn't just about the kiss. It's about creating a cinematic experience. She feels like she's in her own movie, swept up in a moment of pure seduction. And you, you're the lead, the man she'll be telling her friends about later. The mystic text opener. This one is my secret weapon when I'm dealing with high maintenance women who barely reply to guys. You know the type, gorgeous, hard to reach, usually blowing off the average guy's text. I've used this move with women I've never even spoken to before and the results, game changing. I've put together a PDF that breaks it all down for you, step by step. It's completely free and not only does it explain how to pull this off, but it also includes some killer copy-paste material you can start using right away. You can grab it from the link in the description below. And hey, if you're getting value from this video, do me a favor. Like, subscribe, and drop a comment below. It helps the channel grow. And I love hearing from you guys. Let's keep this thing going. This one's perfect for building a connection while breaking that all-important touch barrier. It's smooth, simple, and works whether you're walking her out of a bar, heading to a restaurant, or just taking a stroll. Here's how it goes. As you walk beside her, hold out your hand and casually tell her, give me your hand. If she takes it, awesome. You're now holding hands, which instantly sets a more intimate vibe and keeps you far from the friend zone. But if she hesitates, don't worry. Play it off with a smirk and say, I just want to see how it feels like a little chemistry test. Most girls will laugh and go along with it after that. It's light, playful, and shows confidence, all while setting the right tone for something more. Now we're stepping into building sexual tension. This move works best when you're alone with her, either at your place or somewhere more private. 
It's all about playing with the moment, building anticipation, and letting the tension grow. Here's what you do. Ask her, are you nervous? If she says yes, no, or a little bit, follow up with, let's test how nervous you are. If she's down for it, gently place two fingers at the end of her leg and start moving them slowly and smoothly upward, inch by inch. Remember to always make sure that she is comfortable and okay with you doing this with her. Never touch a woman without her consent. As you do this, the tension between you two will rise. It's subtle but powerful. Do it until she tells you it is enough or she can't handle the tension anymore. That's when the tension hits its peak. She'll get flustered, playful, maybe even a little wild. If she doesn't stop you and tells you to keep going, well, I think you know where this is headed. This move isn't just about the physical touch. It's the buildup, the suspense of what's coming next. You're now armed with a full arsenal of seduction tactics. Use them wisely. Remember, knowing these strategies is just the start. Taking action is what makes all the difference. Without action, knowledge is just empty potential. To stay updated on all future videos, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. If you enjoyed this content, don't forget to click the like button. It really helps with the algorithm and keeps me motivated to create more. I'm also working on an exciting new project that will basically give you a menu of attractive women eager to date you, where you can pick and choose. I don't want to give away too much just yet, but let's just say cheat codes are incoming. Thanks for joining me today. Until next time, take care and keep experimenting.